Hello, my name's Christopher Gronlin, the juggling writer, and most of the weekend my phone has looked like this. Off. This weekend, I decided no phone, no email, nothing. Total disconnect. When I took the social media break last year, very early into the experiment, I felt a bit of a withdrawal and I figured I'd feel that way with total disconnect, but I didn't. 39 minutes into the experiment, I actually wrote in a notebook that I haven't written in probably in a couple years. In 42 minutes into the experiment, I opened up a novel that I haven't worked on for a while. But don't think that that means that this was all a perfect experiment. Two hours and ten minutes into it, I did drink a beer, turn on the TV, and I watched Troll Hunter. I figured Saturday morning would be a bit tough because that's usually when I keep in touch with friends on Facebook, check email, and most of that morning is just spent knocking stuff back and forth between the people I care about. Instead, I sat and had coffee with my wife and we talked. Now, that's not rare for us because we spend a lot of our time together just sitting and talking, but usually Saturday mornings is kind of the social media thing where she's in one room, I'm in the other room, and we talk to each other, but we talk to each other while we're chatting with people online. We got an earlier start on the day, running some errands, and then we went and had lunch at a favorite Thai restaurant, and then we went to H Mart. So why were we at H Mart? Because I decided Saturday I was going to make homemade kimchi. Sunday was a lot more of the same, just hanging out, chatting in the morning, and then spending most of the day writing. The big thing I realized this weekend is how much time is lost in between the spaces because we fill that with going on our phones and checking Facebook, Twitter, G+, all these different things. I mentioned that Saturday morning we ran some errands. We went to go get my wife a couple more pairs of jeans, and while she was trying things on, Normally, I'd be on my phone checking Facebook, whatever, but I kept my phone in my pocket and I just stood there and I thought. For the first time in a while, I didn't distract myself in between those spaces and I started thinking about the writing I had been doing the day before and how the scene that had been giving me trouble each time I opened the file finally came together because I had no choice but to think about it. I couldn't go anywhere for a distraction. And that was the big thing that I gained this weekend. I realized that I filled those spaces going online to see what others are doing so much that I really didn't think about what I was doing. I came to realize that it's not just Facebook, Twitter, and G Plus that makes noise in my head. It's me getting in the way of myself. There's no denying that my friends and family come first. Work is right there too. But after that, writing is what I do. And this weekend, if nothing else, being able to sit down and begin the weekend working on a novel that I haven't looked at for a while, spending some time just standing around thinking about it, and then Sunday spending most of the day working on that novel and feeling that rush of progress. For that reason alone, the weekend was a success. And I challenge you, if you feel that everything is so overwhelming, to spend a whole weekend disconnected from everything. My name's Christopher Grunlin. I'm the Juggling Writer. Hope everybody has a great week.